Welcome, hello, this is Talia MK and welcome to Marketing 2.0 Conference 2024, February edition. And we have with us Jan Kru Ozarski. <laughs> well, I hope I said the right name. He is a creative strategist uh, for Lensstat. First of all, welcome, congratulations for being here and representing your company. Lensstat, uh, if you think about it, it's something to do with visual activity. You're right. Thank Perfect. you for the introduction. <laughs> Lovely to be here. Thank Lovely you. to be part of the event. It's Thank a you. it's a great networking occasion. Um, Lens that you are right. We do th uh, all things visual. We're a okay. creative studio. Mm -hmm. We are based in Warsaw, Poland, but we work with clients across the globe. We work with clients from across the industries. Okay. And what we do in our little creative studio is extended reality experiences. It okay. sounds a bit crazy, but it's all those things that have to do with augmented reality virtual reality, mixed reality, and everything in between. So starting from those funny TikTok or Snapchat effects yeah, that yes, turns yes, you yes. into a dog yeah, uh, yeah. to like more advanced product visualizations oh. or uh, furniture try-ons or digital fashion collections. Amazing. So these services are provided for like malls or shops or any specific uh, field or is it available to all? It's it's the beauty of it is that it's available across all industries. And if you have if you're a smart marketer, uh, if you're a smart marketing specialist, mm -hmm. you will know how to fit it in your larger campaign mm -hmm. logically. So let's say you're a furniture brand, you know, of course, you have a website, maybe on that website, include an augmented reality module that lets people try on your furniture in their yeah, own space yeah. just by pointing their camera to it Perfect. but for like fashion you could have an, an ar mirror you can put it in the like a digital try on in a oh. store and people don't have to try on clothes they can just stand in front of the digital mirror and check the looks you know that through, is through so the mirror like this. but you know it could be also used for finances yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some financial quizzes and so on building brand awareness sales it's it's funny because it's you know when when you try to tell your parents what you do yeah. and you try to explain this whole um, uh, augmented reality thing, the easiest to tell them is, uh, you know, it's just funny Snapchat filters because <laughs> it's the most, you know, yeah. it's the most obvious and thing that comes to mind. But the use is mind. so wide. The yeah. use is so wide across industries. Uh, so, for example, I own a boutique, maybe. Mm. Uh, as a creative person, I'll come to you for the business advice or something. What are the key factors I should be, uh, like, acquainted with or provide you with before we start the journey? That, that's a great question. Uh, and and I hope you started a boutique because this approach is beautiful. You know, uh, we, what we require from clients is to educate us about their brand because every brand has an identity. Every brand has their target audience. They want there is someone that they want to sell their product to market to or not. Every brand has a story as well. And we want to know those things because even though what we produce is something tiny, you know, maybe a little Snapchat effect or Instagram AR effect, but it has to fit very logically in a in a brand's world. Otherwise, it's just a gimmick. It's just a it's just a cherry on top that no one cares about. We need to know about the brand, its needs. We need to know what goals the brand wants to fulfill, and how can we help the brand in fulfilling those goals with the use of augmented reality. So we we need to know it all, and this is this is the model that we work in. We try to learn about the brand, uh, consult with the brand, devise a larger strategy and how what we do fits in with the strategy. And then we do our main core thing. So we design 3D content, 2D content, animations, and we program it to work as an augmented reality experience. Oh, that's good. So, so uh, you have a creative manager who is going to be available to provide the services, get an idea what I'm going to be looking for, and then make it in a very easy way what if the client is a little bit stubborn and is a little bit rigid of how how many try like what how do you deal with such kind of customers uh, we do exactly that what you just said so we have a we're a team of over 30 specialists and they're both and they're uh, visual creatives coders programmers but there's also a big project management team and the sales team uh, i think there's there's no client we cannot manage and you know this is the approach that you have to have exactly what we're waiting to listen <laughs> exactly exactly but you know of course if at the early stage we identify that what we do isn't going to help the business we will say it right up front you know you know dear client you know we understand who you are what your brand is and the solutions that we provide they're not going to help your business so having a transparency which is very transparency and fairness i think yes. it's i think it's key to you know, for, for success that's that's beautiful so your services are provided online globally or is it any regional specifications uh, 
you know, luckily we can provide what we do globally. We can reach out to clients globally, but what we value very much, uh, especially in the times after the pandemic that closed us all off from other people, is the direct contact with people. So we travel a lot with with projects. We were just in Belfast last week for doing a, uh, doing a project for the client, going to Dublin after this conference, then going to Riyadh to do a separate thing. It's a, we, we value that personal touch very much. So it's globally available if it's anybody wants very to much so. the Very much so. Anyone can reach to us, although we are based in Europe. We work with brands across, I think it's over 60 markets that we worked with, Beautiful. really exotic ones, far ones, and uh, brands from you know tiny, beauty salons to huge financial institutions right. so so the so anyone can do that yeah so how anybody can contact you if a normal small person starting up a business or from a from a very big per company perspective how can they reach out to you guys you know we just have a website okay. it's a lens that uh, dot com this is the, where you need to visit okay. uh, the website also offers you a look through our portfolio uh, that you can you can see what our works previous works were uh, and just based on that, you know, we'll be able to help you right from the beginning. Great. Thank you so much. You can contact him on L-E-N-S-T-H-A-T dot com and reach out to him for any questions. And let's make our work and ideas a little bit fun for the customers and for ourselves too. It's going to in boost up in the, if the exchange of uh, great memories and also in income and a lot of other things. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving Thank you, Dalia, for having me. And I hope it will grow much more than it is right now. Thanks so much. Uh, on that note, be kind, have fun, be creative. And th this is Thalia MK signing off from Marketing 2.0 Conference.